This is a community-supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. All right, so everybody likes to follow Elon Musk and Tesla and their stonk price. And Elon recently tweeted about how the stonk price was too high, so it dropped like 3% instantly. And people wrote to him about losing $10,000 instantly. And it's hilarious because I'm so happy I'm not a Tesla investor with all of that going just all over the place. Um, although I kind of wish I was an Apple investor back when they were $11 a share back in 1999 and 2000. So here is Tesla doing to try and keep their business open. Please reopen the Tesla business. Uh, the Tesla factory in, is it Alameda County, California? Yes. As COVID-19 loomed, local officials scrambled to implement myriad measures. Thank you for using myriad properly. Protecting the Californians in their jurisdiction. The state stepped in to ensure California's response was clear, uniform, and coordinated using statewide regulations. On some issues, that meant establishing baseline policies. On others, it meant choosing the policy across the state. The governor's March 20 stay-at-home order sought to balance the need to protect Californians from infection against the need to maintain Californians' access to vital supplies and services. In doing so, the governor chose the policy on one issue. Businesses classified by the federal government as critical infrastructure are essential to Californians and are allowed to continue operating as part of California's coordinated response. The order was clear on this point. Quote, I order that Californians working in these 16 critical infrastructure sectors may continue their work because of the importance of these sectors to Californians' health and well-being. This purpose was to establish consistency that the supply chain must continue, that Californians must have access to such necessities as food, prescriptions, and health care. This was not a state-level baseline inviting county innovation above and beyond a minimum. This is an order that certain essential businesses shall be permitted to remain open statewide to provide essential goods and services to Californians. What are they talking about? Normally, there is a, uh, a, a stacking system of preemption. So if the federal government says um, all essential business, all non-essential businesses must close, period. And then the governor, the state comes in and says all non-essential businesses must close and these other businesses must close too. And then the county comes in and says, okay, all of that plus we're going to add our own regulation. Uh, all these, all these uh, non-essential businesses must close plus a couple essential businesses plus uh, parking is waived. Parking, parking fees and street cleaning fees are waived. They're doing that in my town. It ends tomorrow. That's why it's on my mind. Um, and then maybe your city government within the county comes through and, and says, uh, you know, all city parks are, are open or something. Um, that's how it's more or less supposed to work. The, the federal government has control, but then the state can make more restrictive measures and the county can make more restrictive measures and the city can make more restrictive measures. However, there are some things like civil rights, um, like the uh, dormant commerce clause, which says that those lower or smaller authorities can't regulate interstate commerce because that's reserved to the federal government. So things like copyright preempt the regulation by a local government, a state government or local government. So you can't always do that. But in general, when it comes to basic health and safety regulations and, and taxes and things like that, the government set, the federal government set, sets one level and then the, the state, county and local governments can make ever more restrictive laws and, and regulations. And so that's what Tesla's complaining about here, that Alameda County had more restrictive regulations than the governor uh, the government of California through the governor um, had implemented, and th that implementation was based on federal rules. Nevertheless, Alameda County decided that, notwithstanding the clear language and statewide logic of the governor's order on this point, it would insist that its prior and subsequent conflicting pronouncements, pronouncements of law, controlled over the statewide order. So controlling law. Alameda County thus arrogated to itself the power to force closure of businesses that the state government had ordered could remain open because they are federally defined critical infrastructure serving vital security, safety, and economic needs of Californians. Inexplicably, Alameda County proceeded to direct its shutdown at Tesla, even as Alameda County has simultaneously maintained and publicized an FAQ that expressly describes essential businesses in terms that encompasses Tesla's Fremont facility. 
my business installs distributed solar storage or electric vehicle charging systems, can it continue to operate? Yes, this is a permissible construction activity and must comply with the construction project safety protocols in Appendix B. Businesses may also operate to manufacture distributed energy resource components like solar panels. So he's saying that since he does that, the factory can remain open. Now, I don't know how it works if it's a partial shutdown or full shutdown or what. I'm assuming they're trying to stay fully open doing all their things because they they make you know energy resource distributed energy resource components but um also if this closure was directed specifically at tesla then they have an argument not just that the or the closure order is unconstitutional on its face but also that it's unconstitutional as applied because it's being applied to tesla in a discriminatory fashion what is more the county has asserted that violations of its orders carry criminal penalties even though it lacks statutory or other legal authority to do so alameda county has not only created a legal quagmire by wrongly declaring that its own orders Trump the state level orders, it has threatened jail time and significant fines for businesses and individuals that do not comply, even where they are clearly authorized by the state order to continue critical infrastructure activities. To be clear, Alameda County is not using the existing authority of local health officers to supplement a baseline set by the state, issuing policies more restrictive than or in addition to that baseline. The county is making rules that directly contradict and undermine the policy announced by the governor in his orders. Alameda's power grab not only defies the governor's order, but offends the federal and California constitutions. First, the county's order violates the due process clause of the 14th Amendment because it fails to give reasonable notice to persons of ordinary intelligence of what is forbidden under the law. They're saying it's not clear enough. By prohibiting what the governor's order expressly permits, the county's order puts businesses deemed critical to the nation's well-being by the federal state governments between a rock and a hard place, unable to discern what the applicable law permits under threat of criminal prosecution. This is precisely the dilemma the due process clause's requirement of fair notice seeks to avoid, particularly here where there is no procedure for plaintiff to even challenge the county's determination that it is not an essential business that may continue new operations. Second, the county's order discriminates against identically situated parties without any rational basis. So there's your basic constitutional scrutiny is rational basis, thereby violating the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause. Even as at least one neighboring county is allowing car manufacturing to resume, Alameda County continues to insist in violation of the governor's order and against reason that what is permitted in a neighboring county will endanger the public health if permitted to also occur within Alameda. County. Furthermore, even as Alameda itself declares businesses like Tesla essential, it somehow simultaneously insists without rational explanation that Tesla is to remain shut down. Third, a county may only make and enforce within its limits ordinances and regulations not in conflict with general laws. By purporting to override an express order of the governor of California, Alameda County has far exceeded its ambit under the California Constitution. In sum, the county's orders threaten not only to close businesses supplying critical infrastructure, thereby violating multiple federal and state constitutional principles, but also to jail people pursuant to criminal statutes that simply do not apply here. To that extent, the county's orders should be declared void and without legal effect. So I'm just going to skip a little bit here. Um, they go into the facts that the governor issued um, these orders, that they're based on the federal government's orders. Three of those 16 sectors are relevant to this litigation. Transportation, equipment manufacturing, electrical equipment appliance and component manufacturing, and the energy sector. And they posted frequently asked questions, and you saw that before. So Alameda County has issued a shelter in place order as of March 16th. All businesses with a facility in the county except essential businesses are required to cease all activities at facilities located within the county except minimum basic operations. And they said essential businesses were strongly encouraged to remain open and they listed 21 different essential businesses including essential infrastructure but did not reference or incorporate the list of 16 critical infrastructure sectors that governor whatever whoever had ordered after the governor's order was issued dr pan issued a second shelter in place order superseding the first order like the first county order the second order conspicuously warned that violation would result in misdemeanor punishment 
fine imprisonment both. It added six categories of essential businesses, certain types of construction, bicycle repair and supply shops. Yay, good to see that bicycles are able to be repaired. Landscaping professionals. California loves its landscaping, I'll give you that. Uh, let's see, the second order referenced the governor's order, characterizing it as setting the baseline standard. Where a conflict exists between the county's order and any state order, the most restrictive provision controls, according to Alameda County. They cite California Health and Safety Code section 131080, but Tesla says that does not allow the county to override a statewide order, instead simply providing the California Department of Public Health may advise all local health authorities, and when, in its judgment, the public health is menaced, it shall control and regulate their action. There was a third shelter-in-place order, which allowed a limited number of additional essential businesses to reopen. It added, to the extent that any federal guidelines allow activities that are not allowed by this order, this order controls, and those activities are not allowed. So here we see them getting more and more restrictive against the federal guidelines. Then they say that solar and energy businesses can stay open, and they say that all of Tesla's manufacturing activities in Fremont are covered by that essential business guidance. So they're saying that Alameda County has actually expressly authorized Tesla, but something else happened. Then on May 4th, the Governor Newsom, is his name, issued an executive order concerning a four-stage framework to allow the Californian people to reopen. The governor's reopening order also states that it should not be construed to limit the existing authority of local health officers. Should not be construed. Any county or city may make and enforce within its limits all local police, sanitary, or other ordinances not in conflict with general laws. Plaintiff continued to operate Tesla after the first county order in good faith belief that it was exempt from the shelter-in-place order since its operations clearly fell within the federally declared critical infrastructure sector. However, defendant Sheriff Ahern announced on Twitter that plaintiff was not an essential business and therefore could only maintain minimum basic operations. Plaintiff nevertheless continued to operate believing that it was in the clear. Plaintiff negotiated with defendants in a good faith effort to reach a mutually agreeable resolution. Plaintiff believed it had the right to continue operating. However, plaintiff decided to stop operations March 23rd, 2020. Although the governor's order expressly permits the operation of Tesla's factory, plaintiff has attempted in good faith to negotiate. Nevertheless, defendants continue to take the position that the Tesla factory is not an essential business under the third county order and therefore may not reopen. So, they cite claims for de deprivation of liberty under the due process clause. So that's, you know, what they said above. Uh, no notice and opportunity to respond to their restrictive covenant or restrictive law uh, forcing Tesla to close, even though the federal guidelines and state guidelines say they can remain open. Violation of equal protection clause. So that is the equal protection of the laws. They're being treated differently, either on the face of the law or by the application of the law. Preemption is that the state and federal government guidelines and laws preempt or override the county or city laws. And they are requesting a permanent injunction preventing enforcement against Tesla, a declaratory judgment that it violates due process and probably equal protection somewhere in here. Um, another declaratory judgment that the order is void, the Alameda County order is void. The attorney's fees and all other relief, including other fees that might be able to be given. And then there's their attorneys. So what do you think of that? Tesla has had to sue to reopen. I think that's funny because you've got people who are really upset about the things not being reopened. And then you've got Tesla who's joining not that body of people, but the chorus. Like, hey, we got to reopen here. Obviously, some businesses do have to remain closed. It obviously has to be a phased reopening, a phased rollout and everything. But still really funny that Tesla has had to sue to reopen. Also, it does seem like, like uh, Alameda County might be just a little bit restrictive there if other car manufacturers or other manufacturing facilities are allowed to be open. Why not Tesla's manufacturing facility? They do make critical infrastructure, in my opinion. I mean, at least let's compare them to gas stations. You've got to have charging stations for your Tesla. 
if gas stations can remain open, why can't Tesla's infrastructure for fixing, maintaining, uh, installing new charging stations be open? And don't you need the manufacturing facility to be open for that? I, I, I don't see why they can't continue manufacturing. I, I mean, if I understand correctly, Teslas are very popular. And so shutting down the manufacturing facility just means people who are waiting for their Teslas just have to wait longer. So why not just keep that going and just implement social distancing or, or mask wearing requirements or something? It's a big facility. I can't imagine people are crammed in there like sardines, but now I'm just kind of rambling off the top of my head. So I'll stop here and you tell me in the comments below whether you think it's a good idea to open Tesla's uh, Gigafactory or, or, or Fremont manufacturing facility in Alameda County, California. So Elon Musk tweeted about it saying that Tesla is filing a lawsuit against Alameda County immediately, um, May 9th, which was yesterday. The unelected and ignorant interim health officer of Alameda is acting contrary to the governor, the president, and our constitutional freedoms and just plain common sense. Frankly, this is the final straw. Tesla will now move its HQ and future programs to tes Texas, Nevada immediately. I didn't know Texas was in Nevada. No, he means Texas slash Nevada. Even if we retain Fremont manufacturing activity at all, it will be dependent on how Tesla is treated in the future. Tesla is the last car maker left in California. Okay, but in your complaint, you just said that another neighboring county allowed a car manufacturing facility to continue to operate. So that had better be your car manufacturing facility, and why wouldn't you say that? So if you're the last car maker in California, why did you say another car maker was allowed to operate in California in a neighboring county? I'm just saying, I'm just, I just remember that I saw that, so I'm pointing it out. Anyway, let us know what you think below. So that is our show, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and this is our legal education and legal news channel, Lawful Masses. Our mission is to bring realistic legal education to the layman at that level, and we hope that we've been able to do that. Please tell us what you think of our channel and this video in the comments below. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, that counts too. And support us on Patreon patreon.com slash ljfrench and sponsors.com slash law if you are able. It really helps our channel out and makes it possible to make these videos at all in the first place. Thank you very much to our $50 plus supporters in the month of May. I love how long this list is. Joe Tyson, Wes Delge, Nicely Done Defense, Video Remonetized, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Kyle Mudrock, Spirit Bear, Yonda Gray, Michael Pierce, Daniel Perez, Blackleaf, Benjamin Hightoff, Stephen Otta, Cute Grills in Your Area, Longreach Jones, Zachary Cheney, Mullen PC, Ugly Grill, Shiloh T, Josh Baker, Gregory, and Rudolph Bescherer Jr. And the $5 plus support are scrolling on the LED matrix panel next to me. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. I will see you in the videos that drop. I love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy. We're going to get out of this whole thing together safely. Bye. Good. There another poop? No, it still needs to be seated, but. Yeah, and that won't get better in the fall. I've been. Oh, you wouldn't seed it during the spring? Well, I think. You're trying to make it recover. Is that like a mating call? Yeah. Oh, oh, and he's gone. That would have been a female, I guess. It's gone? Yeah. <laughs>